What's up, guys? And welcome back to the Lincoln Memorial to Splinter Cell Conviction. Secret Service acting on orders from the president got him there. Why'd they do that? Uh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. <laughs> what Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. Just doing some surveillance here, no big deal. I'm inside. What now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, hack the camera controls to record the sure, conversation, sure thing. and yeah. uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. All right, so we've got to get into camera control. Now, technically, we've got access here, like we're authorized to be in this area, so are we just going to be able to walk right in? It's going to be awfully convenient. All right, Grim. I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot and we'll get the audio. Miss them and we get nothing. All right. This is who we're taking a peek at. We've got a few different camera angles. We've got zooms and stuff. Depending on where they set up, we should be able to see them. It seems like this might be our best bet. Ooh, we've got somebody else coming over here, too. Who's this guy? Thinking maybe this is the angle we want to start with? Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. Of course it is. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Oh, do you now? Hmm. Gonna have to swap angles here. Speech. It was a nice piece of grand style. The speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson. I don't trust Samson. But who I'd be using it? Which is, incidentally, something you should keep in mind. My, my, are you actually threatening me? I thought we were both more civilized than that. <laughs> I need you to frame the shot better. How? I have him. People want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him, since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Oh, 
of all. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon you. No, are part of things out of the history books. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least. Important, especially at a time like this. Come on, Sam. I mean, I've got it on him. What do you want me to do? You need to. Thank you. I hate leaving things to chance. Needed this exact spot. Party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Some bad men here. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. All right, so we're gonna go up. We're gonna interrogate Galliard. Does look like Galliard. he had some security Mr. with him. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that up, you came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all some- You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. <laughs> guards! Where the hell are my guards? I'm not here to save you now. It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. You watch the TV? If he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. God, they're just convenient. Then why does Reed want you out of town? Oh, your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. You ever mix up any audio? <laughs> Oh. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs, where do I find them? Say please. Love how he knows what's coming, but we just keep giving it to him anyway. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for, this is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. I've run out of things to, to whack you against. I'm gonna try these cases here. Ooh. Bent the... The guardrail. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... Ah! <laughs> oh, Reed. Now. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. Catch the killer. I All right. Visual. He's on the stage. I'm gonna go get him. Don't you worry. This is insane. Could have hit us there. The Obviously, we weren't his target, though. He was. Mainly looking to just silence somebody who had some info. Went over the fence. Come on. Now we're gonna have local DC police on us. Yeah. Some 
force when dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. Which means we're gonna have more police to deal with, huh? Sam, I lost them requesting backup now! Don't make your case worse! Surrender! Knock him out! Holy cow, dude. We're gonna be fine, come on. We've almost... We were getting close. He's waiting Too close for you now. again, Sam. All here for Too slow. Gotta work on that aim, fam. Oh my gosh, we almost got him on that wall. Let's go. Jump down. Keep going. Dead ahead. Let's go. The large tent in front of you. He ducked into it. Of course, he's gonna try to set us up for another attack. Gotta get a camera crew down here. This guy's crazy. There he is. Outside and on the move again, Sam. Yo, what the? This dude's a wizard. He just transferred Officer in trouble. locations. Ah, game over, pal. <laughs> Got a boat that was a little bit aggressive. Oh, okay. It's the longest chase scene of all time. Heads up, well. Sam. The police are pulling back from your location. Or the police be why? pulling back? I'll tap into their Como to find out. Everybody out! That means we're getting ourselves into something even bigger that I don't think we want to mess with. I'm seeing him exit the cafe. He's Get to his to car. Right He's getting away. He's headed for that car. Going to lose him. Oh! Put it into practice. There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they killed them the shooter. When the gloves are off, I need a ride out of here. Area looks clear. Are we sure Fisher's still in the Lincoln Memorial Zone? I hear people walking all over the place. We'll see about that, fam. I'm not seeing anything. Sam, East, huh? a second wave of operatives is on its way. I kind of like this spot because we can see a little bit of everything from all angles. They're coming in from the other side now, though. I don't oh, motherfucker! I think I got the target. We're gonna be fine. Gotta hit him from one angle. And then try to approach from a different one. Holy mother of shots! Here we go. Bring it, boys! We don't have any equipment, no grenades, mines, anything like that. Target is high. Fisher's a pro. Be smart. Find the hostile. I terminate him. I do it in the six. Holy mother. Sh Ooh, right there. The hostile is in. Got him. Let's go. Where? Let's go. On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you.
They took the White House. It shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside Third Echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Mm. Sam, Just a few hours from now. I smell like a spare tire. White House is gonna be down. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. So we're going full stealth here. We can't be seen by humans, by security cameras. We can't even take out security cameras. They can't know that we're here. I still think we should have gone. Got a couple of guys in the security room gonna be able to jump on. Well, got a security card. Key card, so we're gonna be able to get through. My contact on the inside just sent me a text. Security's looking for him. He's a techie named Charlie Fryman. And before you ask, yes, I trust him. Well, that's good enough for me. Where is he? Near the server room. Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help you. Will do. Shoot. These cameras are kind of intense, man, and we got guys walking around all over the place. Obviously, you don't want to leave bodies as much as we can. If we leave bodies around, that's just opportunities for people to find them. Especially not leave bodies in, in front of cameras, you know what I mean? Shoot, this is rough. See, like, we can't kill that guy right there because the camera's going to see him. We're going to have to take him out when he's right here. Just got to wait. Got to be patient. There's more guys below us, too. Okay. Let's see. We might... And we could potentially take him out there. Oh, sh I was going to say, we could just leave him, too. We might be able to just... Sneak through. We're in. Beautiful. Alright, so this is our first slot for C4. Got it planted. Really hope they don't see him there, but it is pretty dark down here, so I think we should be all right. Just gonna move our way through the shadows here. Do we wanna go back behind that SUV on our left? That might be our next objective. I think we're good there. He's got the headlights on him, but no cameras or anything. I'm nervous about this guy, though. I just, I, I don't, I don't want him to see our guy. Perfect. 
I don't know why he was making that round, but it works out for us. All right, can I not go through here? There it is. Not too shabby. Nice and stealthy so far. Plant some more C4, and then we've got to get back up to the main front office, right? Pretty sure that's what she said. Gonna have to blow it, work quickly before the, the backup comes on. Attention all personnel. Please remember to keep your key card with you at all times. Without your key card, you will not be able to access the building and may be detained until proof of your identity can be provided. Thank you. Got more guards up top, but it looks like we might be able to just sneak right in the elevator. Not too shabby. Not gonna need that thing anymore. For Sam, the one thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter. As the enemy. As the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth. It was waiting for him. Haunted by his past. Welcome to Third Echelon. How you doing, ma'am? I'm sorry. We're closing the office early for some. Got an appointment meetings. with Mr. Reed. Again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. Emergency power will Fight be offline the in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. All right, we're gonna get inside. Let's go. Oop, shoot. Almost didn't make it. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Fisher! Got him. Got a feeling that's not all the security they were gonna have. Oh yeah. At least five guys there. Anybody have a line of target? I don't understand why we're getting everyone out instead of making everybody stay here. Nothing to report. Security issues because of the family. Oh, Paul! Where's he at? Where's the target? Warm up! We're moving it! We're gonna be fine. They have no clue where we are. Find me! I'm on Overwatch. Engage the target. Got a feeling they're gonna have more. Security than just that, of course. No sign of him. He's gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> Got that guy. Family. Oh, right. Nothing to report. Home. Can't be anyone from the inside. It's gotta be Fisher. Wives or kids or whatever. Bring him in here overnight. We've got this guy across the hall, the two at the other end of the hall. Still, it's the first time. No sign of Ryan over here. Looks clear. <laughs> He's down. No Got a guy over here. Keep looking. Still don't see Fisher. Are we sure he's here in third echelon? Nah, I think I, I think that was a, a bad call from the, the higher Keep ups. Looking. He's not actually here. 
Looks clear. Anything on the security feed? <gasps> Not good. Anything on the security feed is the last thing that guy ever said. Yep, no sign, no signs here. Nothing to see here, fellas. Ooh. Oh. This is kind of nice. I'm not finding anything. Just gotta look harder, my man. All clear here. No sign of Fisher. Could have been anyone scared by the power outage. Okay. I mean, is that everyone? I think that might be everyone. Oh, nope. There's at least one more somewhere. I have no clue where he would be though, because we've left bodies everywhere else. All right, let's um. Let's get to the server room here. Got more cameras. Got to watch out for them. Looks like we do have another. Rooftop thing here. This is so convenient. Everything's clear on my end. No fissure, no employees left, nothing. Super clear, my guy. I think one of the cameras found that body, but we're fine. I mean, they're not. They're not gonna look up top. Not good. No sign of hostile activity. Fisher won't try his luck here. That'd be fucking. You messed with the wrong guy, shithead. Cameras definitely keep finding the bodies, but I'm not worried about it. I've already taken down most everyone. Find this guy, Brian. Close by. Somebody's got a hunch. Got this guy at the end of the hall. Sector's clear. Keep looking. Contact! Motherfucker! Contact! No contact. Clear. Sam Fisher's not around for now. <laughs> Your boy's just called contact, bro. We're gonna be fine. Fisher's all a trick. You can run, but you can't. He go. This guy's had some good vision to find me at the end of the hall. I guess we were kind of in some some very bright light. Not gonna hit get hit by the security camera. Looks like we made it into the server office. Are you Fisher? Over here! What's up, man? Are you Fryman? Yeah. Yeah. You're Fisher, right? And Bingo. I told you that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. Voila. With these babies, you can see in the dark. You can see through walls. You name it. Not bad. Plus, I tweak them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam, and a turret targets the break. Nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but just one thing. I love this guy. The top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear, so if you can see them, they, they might be able to see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, is... Good luck. All right, so we've got some pretty sick goggles that we can use now. Be able to... See through walls at any time. Going to be awfully convenient. He's down. Man out in hold position. We'll wait for him here. 
They're gonna have no idea where that came from. Whoa! The area's compromised. We're gonna hold position here. The area is not secure. I say again, the area is not secure. Hold no, it position. is not. Ooh. Love it, dude. Way too easy. Now the problem is some high profile enemies are gonna have the same stuff. Which makes me a little bit nervous. Back out the way we came. And turn these bad boys on, be able to tell if anybody's on the other side of the wall at any moment. Definitely see more guys. He gone. So is he. Nearly messed that up. Fisher's hiding. Except the same old tricks. Watch your back. Wait for him right here. We're good. I got signs of suspicious activity dead ahead. Holding position. And drop on this guy. Sup, buddy. Just keep watching out for the cameras. We should be good. Camera almost saw us there. It's so crazy just being able to see through walls, straight up x-ray vision. Get up top again. Half the time I have no clue where these guys are. We can just hit that, that vision. They'll never know what hit them. I got a pop my fish. Over there. Mother. I don't like the looks of this. Hold position. We're gonna be fine. He's down. Negative. No good. The area's compromised. Hold position. You'd think if there's some super soldier with X-ray vision that's just I got messing up your whole squad, you might Holding might want to give up. Just picking you off one by one, not even close to being able to find him. Looks like we're good to go. Slowly but surely making our way back out the building. Use the goggles. Bro, this is... Okay. Can't decide. Okay. So these are, these are moving a bit. Okay. We can go under this. Where's our objective in there? How do you want me to make it through this? Oh my god, that was that was it. That was what we wanted. We just gotta be a little bit closer before it starts. Whew. Are we through? Can I get up through Yes, dude, that was sick. Okay. Looks like we're clear now. Go open. Look, Reed, this was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me. I'm telling you, he's here. Nice to see you again. Look, Fisher, I can explain. Can you? Look, Fisher. Nobody's coming to save you this time, Andre. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And cited in DC, I, I helped set it up. It's what I do. Oh, oh that would hurt so bad. Why? What does Reed get out of this? The president. 
They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. To paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. What hit? Why go after the president? I can't tell you. Well, you're gonna have to. She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Mugito's pocket. Uh, Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down. That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. Who do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me. Well, I'll kill you either way, so might as well tell me. Make it quicker that way. I don't know anything about her. Fisher, like I said, they gave me a picture. Told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for third echelon. Anything they needed, ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do. Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. Well, we've got a weapon stash here, which makes me a little bit worried. I freaking knew it, dude. Here are the high profile guys that can totally see us, too. Alright, I'm gonna go with the Deagle. I just had an Gets it interesting done. discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with the VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I going to find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. <sighs> Well, didn't think that one through. I thought we were going to be fighting the big time guys going forward, so we'd want the deagle, but we actually wanted our silenced pistol. Try this again here. So we've got a guy on the left, two guys in the middle, one guy upstairs. But be careful. Guy's badass. We're clear. Yeah, he is. Whoa! I need a sit rep, damn it! God, Where's God. the hostile? I think I got a fix on the target. Go ahead, get ready! Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. They got more security. No more guys, but more security. Shoot. Okay, so we can't go through there. We can't go forward. We've gotta go through here. Target, it's not visible. What are these? We've got to go through these chairs? We're gonna have to jump over them. Got you covered. Engage the target. Close them into the target. Oh my gosh! Can't go through that way. We could potentially get up top. Got the overhead thing we've got to worry about now. I wanted to see how far it was going to go before it turned around. We're good. Just got to wait. Make sure you keep it in front of us. Good there. Wait till it goes over top of us again. Is there a door at the end of this? I certainly hope. Yep. Okay. Don't step into that thing, Sam. We can have more guys up here, more security, mix of both. Anna Grimm's daughter's office. Can anyone advise? We're clear. How the fudge are we supposed to get up there, dude? I showed him a fix on the high side. We're clean here. Thankfully it's it's low, guys. Not going to be able to see us. Old man Fisher's still loose in our building. Find him! It's clean. 
Look behind you sometimes, man. No contact on Fisher. Man still on our turf. How are we going to get up to her office? We have to go out and around. We aren't going to be able to just jump up right through that window. Could shoot out some of these lights, maybe. Usually we want height and stuff. We might be able to sneak around the backside here. Fisher's at it again. He's in our house, gentlemen. Find him. No visual on the contact. Does anyone have a fix on him? Looks like we're good to go so far. Dude, this is so intense. No contact. No contact. Everybody stay sharp. Everybody stay sharp, I said. Still no visual on the target. clear. I see the stairs up to the second level over there. No sign of Fisher. Did anyone check the restricted areas? Anybody have a line of the hostiles in the building? Fisher! No sign of movement. Target may be KIA. Whoa! Nearly just chat my pants. Question is, what do we have? Up here looks like we're good. No lasers or anything. No, we're good to go. Okay. Hey! I was gonna say, are there any other ones? Seems like there are. Nice aim, Sam. Love it, dude. There it is. He's down. Still no security. Maybe more super soldiers. Who knows? Just gonna work our way slowly through. Grim, why was your office so difficult to get to? Definitely gonna be more guys here. There's no way there's not... Every time you round a corner like that and there's a solid wall, there's always guys. Maybe not. Activate the telepresence call. Hit her up on FaceTime. So tell me about Sarah, Grimm. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was protecting you. No. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. The truth comes out. Sarah Fisher, I would received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her. One coming from a mole inside third echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I think so <clears throat> death taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sarah. Securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, COVID, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for third echelon's purposes. That's so messed up. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there. Which means this has to stay hidden. You and I, that's all. Perhaps someday. Sam. Sam. Sam, listen to me. Sam. You have to listen to me. What's done is done. 
But right now, I need you. I need the Sam Fisher I worked with. What? Sam, please! My analysts have worked through the rest of the data that you got from White Box. We know what they're doing, and we can't Haven't stop it. Haven't you heard? It. He's dead! Just ask my daughter. They've got three directional EMP generators in place. When they go off, the pulses will blanket the entire metro area. Optimal coverage pattern predictions place one of those three at the old city reservoir site. You need to go there and disable and what it. What do you need me for? Well, these are out of order. Because that's the one that will hit Sarah's apartment. And if you stop it, you can save her from what's coming after. So we There's still have a time to go after one. So go. We save have a chance to save our daughter. I? I was never holding her. That was just a bluff to get you in the game. And for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. And the other two? I'm going to the White House with Tom Reed, and I'm going to try to save the president. Maybe I'll see you there. So they've got three EMPs going to be going off. We're going to be able to disable just one. That's all the time we have for it. We're going to go save the one that's going what to affect our daughter. And Sam's going to continue talking to a blank TV. So I'll see you guys in the next one.